This is probably one of the most unique shows I've ever done because we're going to be talking about party drugs to treat PTSD. Before that, please, because you're going to want to hear what it is, please subscribe and donate. Keep us on the air. You've met Peter before when we were talking about pharmaceutical companies and safe drugs and how you were an advocate and now it doesn't work anymore. You are bringing out some new solutions for Canadians. So good for you. But your company also has a very unique product and yeah. perspective. Tell me about it. Yeah, so we, we make- I heard it, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, so yeah. go ahead. <laughs> so we make MDMA, uh, which is like ecstasy, basically, in the, in the, in the illegal world. It's one of those party drugs. It is a party drug, that's right. But we make pharmaceutical grade MDMA for the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder. And so what do you do? Just get everybody high? Uh, no. Uh, unfortunately for the patients, it's not quite as fun. Uh, so it's a three-month protocol. You take the drug and then you go through intensive therapy. Eight hours of therapy in the course of one day uh, to really get at the, the sort of the issue and the trauma. Uh, but it's highly effective. So... And so I mean, who, can, can anybody just sign up for this or do you have to have it prescribed by a medical doctor? And, and who are your patients? Uh, so our patients are people who have, uh, who have long-term PTSD for whom treatment has failed, which is the majority of PTSD patients. Wait, 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 cops and firefighters? Cops, firefighters, nurses, doctors. I mean, there's a lot of PTSD out there. Uh, you know, in the United States, about 35 million people have PTSD. So it's, it's quite a big number. Uh, and uh, the way that you gain access in Canada is through something called the Special Access Program. So anyone with prescribing powers can fill out an application for their patient, doctors, nurse practitioners, mostly psychiatrists, as you can imagine. Right. And then uh, Health Canada will grant you a letter of authorization and you can go through treatment. And your success rate? Uh, so uh, I, I'll point to the clinical trials. There's been two phase three clinical trials, which is, you know, the, the large clinical trials prior to approval. Right. 70% uh, of patients after three months no longer meet the diagnostic criteria for PTSD. It's like a cure for PTSD. And it's a long-term cure. It's not just it is a, a, you know, a quick cure. buzz it is, or it a is, quick it high. Is, yeah. it, is a durable, it is a durable therapy that lasts for a long time. Now, I know some people watching right now saying, well, you know what? I don't have that symptom. I don't need it that way, but I want to get some. Sorry, no, no can do. <laughs> so yours is a very controlled Yeah, drug. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, uh, highly controlled. So we have a controlled substance license with Health Canada. Um, and, you know, we can only send to a patient once we've had the letter of authorization from Health Canada. So, yeah, we have to account for every milligram of... Uh, of the boss is going to ask, it's, it's, there's no room for abuse. Yeah, there's zero room for abuse. That's right. And what about somebody who goes through a three-month treatment? Yeah. They're fine. Yeah. And then it creeps up on them again a year later. I mean, look, that's really a question for them and their doctor. Uh, we're just the, the manufacturer, but in our experience, it doesn't really work that way. I mean, if you have a new traumatic incident, that could trigger PTSD, but if you know, you're just living your life, generally speaking, PTSD does not come back. You're saving a lot of lives and families. Well, we're, we're doing our best. Thank you very much. Good information. Though. Thank you very much. Three minutes. To those of you who have subscribed and donated, a heartfelt thank you. You're keeping us on the air. If you're watching and you haven't, please try to do so because four years ago we started this show because there needed to be independent analysis. Now more than ever, with the Online Harms Act, once that gets into law, it's been passed once by the House, there are going to be hundreds of bureaucrats censoring the news in Canada, censoring this show. We need to keep it on the air. Thanks for your support. <music>